Okay, today we're going to put together a tea candle heater. A couple things that you'll need is these are, I'm using half inch nuts and washers, and then a long one that will go down through the middle hole in your clay pots. You're going to need two different sizes, get a bigger and then a smaller one that'll go inside. And then I got the base for the uh, flower pot that it'll sit on. And then I got these uh, little copper pipes that'll be kind of the stand. And then I did do another little piece here because I did the one with the no thread. I didn't really think of that. This was kind of an afterthought. And then we got our tea candles. And I got a, uh, this is a pizza pan that you can set on top of to kind of take a little bit more of the heat so it's not going into other things around. So, Okay, we'll start doing the assembly. Okay, I'm gonna put it together at the same time as, this will be my first time assembling it, so I probably should have done it, assemble it first, but eh, try it this way. Okay, we're gonna need the bigger pot, and you wanna take your long bolt, put that down in first, so that it's coming up through here. And then I'm gonna put this, well, actually we're gonna go another washer. And then we're gonna do this piece. That'll get the threads so that they're at the base of that. And then another washer. Okay, through trial and error. I am trying now. I've got three washers on top with the nut. It doesn't have thread for this part of it. And that's the three washers. And then inside, I've got a washer and then four nuts. And then I'm taking that copper fitting that I was going to have as the legs, putting it over the nuts, and then putting on another washer. That copper piping will actually conduct, will hold more heat. Okay, so now we have copper fittings and we have washers and nut. And now we'll put it, put the candles underneath on the base and see how the temperature goes. Okay, we got four tea lights in here. We're going to get these lit. Okay, those are going. Now we're going to put this on top. Make sure it's centered. Take a look around the back here. And everything's centered on there. As you can see, the there and currently 65 in this room and it is there you go. so we will check back in like an hour and see if the room is raised in temperature okay so it's been about an hour since it little actually a little more than an hour and that's what our indoor temperature is now. Candles still seem to have some life left in them. I'm not sure exactly how long these will last. They're a fairly small tea candle. But we'll have another update in around another hour. See how things are going. Okay, here's our update. Definitely warmer in here. And the candles there, one of them looks like it's starting to go, getting close to going out. But we can always take and add more candles to it. You can feel the heat radiating off of it. You can set up some kind of fan that could blow 
across the pot, which I'll try that next. Well, it's gotten quite a bit cooler out for me. The inside there, I thought was the one that was going to go out first. And that one's still burning. There's still quite a bit of heat coming off of the pot, so I'm wondering you know, how long that will hold the heat. Right here, there, up to the room. It lasted for a couple hours. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try this or you know, if you have tried it, how it works for you. Have a great rest of your day. Please remember to smash that like button. If you're not a subscriber yet, please do that right now. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Well, I figured I'd do one more little thing. It's actually 68 in here now. And it's about 8.15 or so, 8.20. And just watch out when you put water. Definitely warm.